Yo, what's up, guys? So, you know, I just uh, left Moscow a few hours ago. I just landed in Qatar. A lot of people know I went to uh, Moscow, went to Russia, just have a boxing match. And, uh, yeah, I didn't get the win. But, uh, yo, if you want to check the event, check it out right here. Actually, it was kind of crazy. Huge arena. It was at the CSK Arena right in downtown Moscow. It's called Hardcore Fighting Championship. Big show. Team Russia versus Team USA. Although Team USA was like six American fighters and six Bra Brazilian fighters. So it was like a mixed team. It wasn't full Americans because they couldn't get Americans to fly over to Russia. Um, but yeah, I live in Thailand. I didn't really think it was a big deal. And I was just... They offered really good money, so I was just like, all right, I'm going to go. I don't care about the political situation. I didn't think a war was going to break off, you know? But yeah, check out this arena. It's fucking massive. Fitness Club of Pride. Professional trainer, действующий champion of Russia, Europe and the world. Современный тренажер and comfortable spa zone. All this is Fitness Club Pride. Pride. Be with us. But yeah, uh, bare knuckle boxing, I fucking hate it. Um, I prefer fighting MMA. Uh, <laughs> I much prefer MMA or Lethway or Muay Thai where I have more options. Bare knuckle boxing isn't my strongest. I got caught with the left hand. Nice left hook, caught me, dropped me, stunned me. I thought my orbital broke because I broke more of this one. So I thought this one broke too. But it was luckily it wasn't broken, just super swollen and just that piercing pain. But uh, you know, opponent's a really good guy. He's the 70 kilo lightweight champion of Hardcore Fighting Championship. And uh, yeah, really nice guy after the fight. I made sure to take a picture with him. Check that out. But yeah, like, um, all in all, um, you know, um, Moscow and Russia wasn't like, it wasn't a terrible experience. I mean, people are cold. It's a cold country. I would say it's very, uh, very colorless, <laughs> very uh, dull colors, you know, everything's like, a, looks like it's a little worn down, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's not a very col colorful, exciting city, in, in my opinion. Um, but... The staff that was treating me well for a part of the show, people were pretty hospitable overall. Um, everybody I talked to didn't think like a war was going to happen or the invasion was going to be the day after my fight. Um, I was super lucky. My flight was at 6 p.m. on Thursday, which is which was just about six hours ago, um, because a lot of the flights got grounded and canceled, and uh, yeah, that definitely sucks. So. Um, so yeah, it was, it was great that I got it. I made it out. Just like, like I said, landed in Qatar. Yeah, now I'm just waiting for my flight to go to Sri Lanka. I'm moving to Sri Lanka, so that's looking really looking forward to that. But um, yeah, all in all, my experience in Russia wasn't too bad. Like, I feel bad because I have a couple friends in uh, Kiev and Ukraine, and uh, like I said, nobody expected missiles to be going off and bombings and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's. It's pretty nuts. Um, it's fun. <laughs> like I said, I mean, my mom was freaking out when she found out I was going to go to Russia. Like, like a lot of people, they were just like, "Yo, why are you going to Russia? Did you see the news?" But I was like, "Yo, it's a good, it's a good fight, good experience, fighting one of their champions. Like, why not? I'm just going to challenge myself, make some money, and uh, I'm making a boom, big move to Sri Lanka afterwards, anyway. So I figured it was a, uh, it was going to be a good idea. But." Uh, Obviously not, <laughs> but yo, know, I like I said, I landed, I left right at the right time. I left right when all the shit happened, because I swear if my flight was like four hours later, my flight would have got grounded. So uh, luckily, my flight was at 6 p.m. Left on time, pff, made it out. You know, um, yeah. So now bigger and better things, and uh, yeah, it's like I said, I don't want to get it too political or talk about it too much, but. Uh, I don't, like, I mean, I'm American, but, um, you know, obviously I don't always support the Biden administration and their corrupt dealings in Ukraine, but I don't, I don't support 
Russian aggression either. You know, everybody just wants peace, you know, peace on earth, war in the ring, you know, if we want to fight, we fight in the ring, we're sportsmen. I'm a, I'm a sportsman, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to see no war, I don't want to see people suffer. So, um, yeah, it's real sad right now. Um, like I said, I know a lot of people in the region, tons of flights in Eastern Europe and Russia got canceled and grounded right now. So shit's about to get crazy these next couple weeks. So, um, yeah, it's going to be nuts. Yo, side note guys, during COVID, yo, the airports are like completely normal. Yo, the Qatar airport right now is it's like packed. Yo, honestly, if it wasn't like everybody wearing masks, you wouldn't even know there's COVID right now because this, this airport is completely packed. Busiest I've seen in international airport since I've been traveling, since all this COVID stuff started like two years ago. So yeah guys, I'm all good. Going to Sri Lanka, I'll be there in a few hours. Um, flight's gonna leave soon and uh, yeah, just checking in with everybody, letting you guys know Russia wasn't that bad. I don't don't prefer it, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's not my favorite country by any means, but uh, it wasn't that bad. I had a good experience overall. Got paid, um, got treated well by the show. So um, so yeah, until the next one. <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers and chat soon.